Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again so much for our time together. If I'm smiling pretty big, it's because Sister Bev's going to be home tomorrow morning on that early Philippine Airlines flight. So if I'm smiling pretty big, you just understand. Well, today's Friday. Tonight we're going to have a great service. It's our cell unit multiplication service. I'll be teaching people tonight why you should be a part of a connect group, and I look forward to seeing you there. But right now, let's pick up with our text in Luke chapter 13, beginning with verse, oh, verse 10. One Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues, and a woman who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten it up at all. Jesus saw her and called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her, and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Indignant because Jesus had healed on the Sabbath, the synagogue ruler said to the people, notice he didn't say this to Jesus, he said to the people, there are six days for work, so come and be healed on those days, but not on the Sabbath. Jesus answered him, you hypocrites, doesn't each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox or donkey from the stall and lead it out to give it water? Then should not this woman, a daughter of Abraham, whom Satan has kept bound for 18 long years, be set free on the Sabbath from what has bound her? When he said this, all of his opponents were humiliated, but the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Now there's several things I want you to notice here. First, I want you to notice that religious people don't mind that you teach truth. They just have a problem with the application. As long as Jesus was just teaching truth, they didn't have a problem with it. But when he laid his hands on a woman and set a woman free from satanic power, they had a problem with that. You'll notice that people don't have much problem with talking. They have a lot of problem when people stop talking and they start doing. Jesus was not just a great teacher. Jesus was a great doer. Notice what this, it says in verse 17. It said, when he had said this, all his opponents were humiliated. He was not politically correct. But the people were delighted with all the wonderful things he was doing. Jesus was not just a talker. And even when he talked, he wasn't politically correct. Jesus was a doer. Jesus made a difference in people's lives then, and he makes a difference in our lives today. Now, as a Christian, I want you to just step back and realize that Christian religious people today are not offended by doctrines, and they're not offended when we teach truth. But they are offended when we begin to do things, when people begin to see miracles happen in their lives, when business be begin to prosper and flourish. They forget that doctrine is translated into reality by Jesus. Jesus is not a talker. Jesus is, and Jesus was, and Jesus always will be a doer. He has come to help his people.